forecast. Looks like this weekend. They're going to get outside. Here's meteorologist Brian Thompson. After we didn't get out of the 50s yesterday, a warmer day today. We'll get up to about 63 degrees this afternoon with a mostly sunny sky. Turning out clear tonight, low 38 the suburbs to 45 downtown. Back up to 67 for a high tomorrow as we see a lot of sunshine once again. As we start to see more of a flow out of the southeast into Monday and Tuesday, we'll start to bring in a few more clouds. High still, though, reaching the mid and upper 60s in most spots. I'm Mike with meteorologist Brian Thompson, WBZ News Radio 1030. Along the coast, it is a little cooler. Logan Airport reporting sunny skies, 52 degrees. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. We've got 56 degrees here at WBZ. Time is running out to get your tickets for tonight's Powerball drawing with an estimated $140 million jackpot. You can purchase tickets up to 9.45 p.m. Check your winning numbers and watch the drawing at BassLottery.com. Good luck, Shays. Quincy Countertop Factory has a secret word for you. It's simplicity. Bill Shays invented the replacement Corian countertop. And, of course, Bill Shays still offers granite and silestone countertops. However, Bill Shays is making a special test offer. The trigger word is simplicity. When you go to BillShays.com and ask for your free in-home countertop quotation, be sure to include the word simplicity. This will get you a price $20 less lower per square foot than Bill Shea's lowest Corian price. Saying simplicity still gets you the eight Bill Shea's happiness guarantees, still gets you Bill Shea's one-day installation, and still gets you a free in-home quotation. Go to BillShea.com. A nice Bill Shea's person will assist you to shop at home and give you the simplicity price. Remember, when you go to BillShea's.com, you make your new counter pockets. Rockland Trust is the bank that gives Scott Windmere the free business checking account that came with the free online and mobile business banking terms that includes the free bill pay and the mobile check deposit that lets him deposit his checks from just about anywhere with his mobile phone, which ensures that the payroll is always covered, which makes the employees very happy, which leads to higher quality industrial pipe being made at Scott's factory, which brings the new customers, which boosts the sales, which increase the profit, which Scott happily deposits in the free business checking account he has at Rockland Trust. You can do more for your business with a bank that does more for you. And from truly free business checking accounts to world-class online and mobile banking to award-winning customer service, nobody does more for businesses than Rockland Trust. Rockland Trust, a bank of actions, not words. To learn more, visit any branch or go to rocklandtrust.com. Restrictions may apply. Member FDIC. suspect Joe Carson Nye was found has been taken by the FBI as evidence. Two Boston firefighters injured this morning battling an early morning blaze that was on Evelyn Street in Mattapan. Other news for the first time in several months, Whitey Bulger making his appearance. One of the final hearings before his scheduled trial begins in June. Yeah. 
but his lawyer, J.W. Carney Jr., says he worries about the effect of daily commutes for trial time. That's the proceedings themselves have on his client. I'm sure all of us know people who are in their 80s, and they just cannot physically and mentally do the what they could do when they were younger. The judge has taken under advisement Welch's request that he be allowed to tell the jury about the immunity deal he claims to have had with the government when he committed most of his alleged crimes. A federal court man in Jones, WBZ, News Radio 1030. The attorney who represented Kennedy family cousin Michael Skakel during his murder trial defended his handling of the case a day after Skakel blasted his work. Attorney Michael Sherman testifying yesterday in a Connecticut court where Skakel is challenging his 2002 conviction on the grounds he was deprived of his constitutional right to effective legal representation. Sherman defended his representation of Skakel, but also testified he still believes his former client is innocent. Skakel, the nephew of Robert F. Kennedy's widow, Ethel Kennedy, is serving 20 years to life for the 1975 death of Martha Moxley. They were 15-year-old neighbors in Greenwich, Connecticut. The captain of a field hockey team in Australia died after being bitten by a snake on the field. Or from ABC, Tom Rivers at the Corn Desk. Carl Perry was out getting a little exercise at a sports complex in Darwin when he noticed a snake on a football field where some kids were playing. So he went over and removed it. He then went on a training run, but suddenly collapsed and died. Paramedics say the snake in question was a poisonous one, possibly a brown snake that bit Perry on the hand. Although Australia is home to 20 of the world's 25 most venomous snakes, fatalities are rare. On average, just a couple of people a year die there from bites. Tom Rivers, ABC News. A South Carolina woman admits...